So I started uh, Men on the Side of the Road in 2001 and by about 2005 I was ready to leave Men on the Side of the Road and I either as a social entrepreneur would leave as with nothing and start something from scratch or I would have to uh, decide on a different kind of model and that's when I actually looked at it and said well there is another kind of model here and that's when I set up Innovation Shack and Innovation Shack is a for-profit company that now sets up many, many initiatives, many, many projects, some social, some for-profit, some non-profit. And effectively what they do is they pay me what I call a royalty or a fee um, based on the viability or sustainability of the project um, or what I think it's worth. And that's usually done on a handshake. Um, and that's how Innovation Shack has grown and developed and now I can invest in my own projects and start my own initiatives. Um, look, I mean, all projects are different, you know, in terms of social impact, but uh, for example, I mean, I, I started so many projects, so I don't really know. I have no idea what the social impact is, not a clue. But Men on the Side of the Road, for example, which is one of my projects, creates 200,000 jobs a year. Um, Black Umbrella starts hundreds of small businesses a year. Um, so it really depends on the project and what it does. Well, the, the Lavender Project it was an interesting concept. It was a story in the newspaper, and the newspaper story showcased a, a, a gang community. There were shootouts and all sorts of things. And one of the students in my class came to me and said to me, I'm from Lavender Hill, look at the story in the newspaper. And I just said to him, uh, you know, is there any lavender in Lavender Hill? Because the place is called Lavender Hill. And he said, no, he's never seen a piece of lavender, and there is no lavender in Lavender Hill. And basically that's how the kind that I just thought about and said, well, why don't I plant a million lavender plants and see what happens and just put it out there. I suppose the point of the story is that if you have a concept and you think it's fresh and new, just put it out there, see what happens. You don't need business plans. You don't need to think too hard about it. Just put it out into the world and see what, and, and see, and, and a lot of times you'll be very surprised. I'm First and foremost, I do what I think is innovative. I do creativity, I do innovation, I do fresh and I do new. So basically my motivation, my inspiration is to do new and innovative things every single day. Um, I have no problem starting new projects on a daily basis. And I want to also inspire other people to be innovative, to be fresh and to be new. I suppose some of the concept came about when I saw that many, many NGOs um, and even businesses were just doing the same old thing, um, that they weren't really being innovative, that they weren't trying new stuff um, and that they were just copycats of, of other things. So that's my main thing. I think for me, um, Innovation Shake is now on a path of developing new things on a, on a daily, monthly basis, new innovative stuff. Um, I want to actually take the concepts, the techniques of innovation. Um, I will want to teach people on how to be more innovative. Hopefully there will be a social impact and um, uh, come up with as many new things as possible in the next so many years. Um, either that or in a year's time I'll become a baker. <laughs> For me, the biggest thing that I can ask them to do, it's not for me, it's for them. And I want them to read the newspaper every day, so they can look at the newspaper, find interesting ideas and implement them. So if they can just read the newspaper on a daily basis, I think they will get it. Something I can offer them, um, in terms of what they can do for me, is if they do read the newspaper, they find interesting idea, they can contact me with it and I'll, I'll uh, be grateful to give them my feedback, or even get involved with them. <laughs>